You can see my suits in the back there. Or sport cuts, I guess. I have one suit uh, there. That is an Indochino suit that I've shown. Uh, good wheel haul today. Higher ASP, I recently came across a buttload of 511 tactical uniform shirts, and there were a lot of them. I only picked out, it was like a, it was like a full rack at uh, Salvation Army, and they were half off, and then I had student discount, so I got them each for two bucks and sit, two bucks, six cents each. And so uh, I picked up all the sizes that were 2XL enough, so I got 2XL, 5XL, and 3XL. Uh, a couple 5XLs, mostly 2XL and 3XL, a lot of them were new with tags. In fact, most of them were new with tags. Um, so I'm not really starved for inventory right now, and I also got a load from that. A pretty big haul from there. So I uh, went to Goodwill today because I had time, and I was cherry-picking, and I ended up getting 12 things, which I didn't expect to. They had just put in outerwear. So it's been hot, and they've just recently put in the outerwear section, and I got a lot of stuff from there. I don't know the loss. I got I got stuff from there, and I got other stuff that was pretty good. Goodwills in general, I have to cherry pick a lot more than Salvation Army because they their base price where I live, or the one Goodwill where I live, the base price is six dollars for a shirt. So I have to be pretty picky. But even when you have to be pretty picky, there's sometimes that you just score incredibly well, and I did score pretty well. First item I found. This was in the women's section. Women's <laughs> vests sure you all know what that is. Patagonia. It doesn't have a size tag, which I, I don't know if the size tag was ripped off or, or what, but which it, it might have been, but doesn't even really matter. This was 10 bucks, so, you know, pricey, but I mean, <laughs> that's at least 25. Um, I'm calling this a high ASP haul. I'm, I'm valuing high ASP as a, including shipping over $30. That's what I'm calling high ASP. That's probably not really that high ASP, but for me, that's a lot higher than what I normally do. And I wasn't looking for that. I was looking for that in quick flips, and I ended up getting more, I would say, high ASP things. But yeah, again, that's that's a no-brainer. Patagonia. Fleece vest. It's a women's small, I think. I might be wrong about that. And, uh... <laughs> would you look at that? It's another one. This one's this uh, really soft fleece. I think this is a Sherpa vest. This one does have a size. It's a, uh, this one's a women's small. See, I think the, the tag, the size tag might have been ripped off of these two. But yeah, they both are about the same size. So I think these are both women's smalls. The Sherpa is probably worth a little more. And I'm going to identify the style code. Um, I mean, it's just, that was such an easy pick. Both 10 bucks. Both gonna probably do at least fifteen dollars profit on those. Uh, let's see. This I found in the sleepwear section, believe it or not. Long sleeve polo shirt, so that's already kind of weird. And then it was this. This was really weird. I did not expect to find this. It was only six bucks. That's Armani. Minimum thirty on this. Um, comps look really good. It's like fifteen actives, nine soles, but. That's good enough for me, and it's like this, it's a very stretchy material, but it's like a last stain viscose polyester blend. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Armani's solid for six bucks, I'm totally just going to roll with that. This was the biggest gamble. I don't know if this was worth it or not, but it was only six bucks, which is, you know, the base for Goodwill, so. Yeah, and it is this t-shirt, and it's a Prana t-shirt that is, it's a graphic Prana t-shirt that looks weird. This looks like, I thought it might be counterfeit, but... It, it doesn't quite that looks legit like and also it says made in usa and the stitching looks pretty even um i don't know who counterfeits prana this this may actually you know what now that i'm looking at it there's a chance that this is counterfeit i don't i really don't know who would counterfeit prana and it feels pretty high quality too and i don't know what person would counterfeit prana yeah see it says breeds it says made in usa this seems pretty legit and again i got it because it was made in usa so this might be like a prototype prana t-shirt this might be like i don't know like like this was a really early on when they didn't even outsource they just like did their own clothing because you know like you there there are old gymshark t-shirts that are like that so it could be worth a lot. I, I don't know. 
For six bucks, I'm willing to gamble, because at least I know it's Prana, it will sell at the very least. Okay, this is possibly the ugliest clothing item that I've ever bought in my entire life, but I bought it for a very good reason. Look at that. That is just, like, it literally kind of disgusts me to look at this. It's got these metal, I guess you could call them studs, and you can't read that. Maybe you can. You see that says Mickey? This is vintage Disney. It's really faint, you can't read it. But it's made in USA, vintage Disney, probably 70s or 80s, although the tag is, um, like, plastic. It's not like the, the really old plastic paper tags. Four trail polyester. Yeah, I've never, I haven't heard that in a while. Made in USA. You can make that out. It's a size XL. This is the type of thing that will sell. I know that this will sell. I don't know for how much at all. If I put it up for, like, 50 bucks, it'll probably go... Uh, that's something that's really ugly. Like, you know, the ugly sells eBay mantra is pretty true. Um, and I think that that's a pretty, pretty valid point. For that, um, I know, I know that will, I just don't know how much. I, I picked it up, I tried to look it up, there wasn't really anything on the internet or on eBay. I'll look it up later. Should recognize that logo. It's the cost. Really solid brand. This is a bread and butter item. Size 6 polos have 150% sell through on eBay. Really easy. This one, uh, unfortunately, the size dot, I'm assuming, yeah, the size dot did not have a, um, an identification. If you're not sure what the size dot is, well, uh, it's this. This thing that is, this was 10 bucks. Lululemon. I'm going to have to go on Lulu Fanatics to identify what this is, but it's this mock neck women's thing it's a size six women's mock neck pullover minimum minimum 25 i would say for for something like this it's a little unusual uh so yeah that's that's something that is going to be pretty easy to find okay i was so happy when i saw this this has holes in the back of it you like like big not giant holes but like two like non small holes actually three you can see there's one and then, and I, the fact that I'm showing these off is just, just tells you how good of a brand this must be. There's a whole, there's a whole bunch of holes in the back. There's another one. Does not matter. I got, it was only six bucks. Smart wool. <laughs> I was so happy when I found this. Probably not going to sell for crazy money because of those, those are pretty major flaws. But if I, if I put it up for like, 16 or 17 plus shipping it should just be gone i guess that's bread and butter this is another bread and butter i do have more high dollar ones yeah a lot of this is bread and butter this is like half and half i guess this is an oakley t-shirt oakley it was eight bucks which i normally wouldn't pick up but it's size 2xl it's literally i, I think 150 percent sell through on oakley 2xl polo shirts and they're selling for like 20 plus shipping so i wasn't going to pass up on that i didn't think it would be the numbers would be as strong as they were but then i looked them up Lacoste, eight bucks for this, I think. Two XL Pima cotton T-shirt, another bread and butter, pretty pretty easy flip. Put it up for twenty plus shipping. Something around there should go. Okay, this was uh, six bucks. It's not a phenomenal brand, J Crew size medium, and it's a women's quilted puffer vest. I don't know if you can call this. I don't know if quilted and puffer can be used in conjunction or if it's one or the other. But uh, I felt it, and I was. I, I didn't think it could be true, but look at the composition. Um, and you, you probably know exactly why I would pick this up. You, again, probably won't be able to read this, but... 100% polyester, but 60% down, 40% uh, waterfowl feathers. So it's a down puffer vest for 6 bucks. Even in a bad brand, or a so-so brand. J.Crew's not bad, but it's not great. That is pretty, pretty safe, I think. And here come the two biggest, I would say, the most, the highest dollar items. This, I was, there was a new clothing rack that I'd seen. I was walking to the uh, register. I saw this, and I decided to check it out. Uh, I did not this. I saw the rack, and this is what I got. This is the only sport coat blazer. This might be women's, I don't know. And it's not pinstripe. It's just sort of striped, and it's from this brand. This is a really, really strong, not really strong, but really higher end brand i was really happy when i saw this because uh it's a size xl 
if you look it up, the comps are like in the 200s for size XLs. The soles are not, the, the soles vary for between like 40 and $100, but this was eight bucks and it has actually a stain on it. Um, I think it has multiple. But it's, a, I believe the stain should wash out and it's because it's pretty minor there. That is probably not a huge deal. Um, even if I didn't wash it out, it probably would still sell for like 40 or 50, I think. And uh, I will show you, ah, these, yeah, the buttons make it seem like these are women because they're big. But look here, a mark of quality, surgeon's cuffs. So if you're not, if you somehow are not aware, I don't know if you're still aware, but if you're, if you're not aware, uh, most suit jackets, the uh, buttons do not actually work. But um, when they do work, that's called a surgeon's cuff, working cuff type thing. And it is a mark of quality. And it generally, I would say, raises the value. Generally, you can, if you can use the word surgeon's cuff slash working cuff, I would prefer, to, I would put surgeons probably in the title then it's probably going to be worth quite a bit more. Okay, so this was not even in the normal outdoor section. This was in a biker jacket section. I picked it up. This could be worth like 100 It could be worth more than that, or it could be worth like 50 bucks. Minimum 50 probably. It is a leather bomber jacket from this brand, Scully. Scully does these really, really like gaudy Western shirts with studs and embroidery that are worth quite a bit. And the leather jackets can be worth a lot. I, I didn't even check this. I looked it up, but I didn't check the composition. This may or may not be real leather. It feels like it's real leather. It is. Special leather cleaner. Yeah, this is definitely real leather. Real leather jacket from Scully. Quite valuable, probably the find of the day. Um, it's a medium small and it's like kind of greasy. It's, it's got stains. It's, it fits the aesthetic of a biker jacket. And so definitely going to sell this for at least 50. I have not put these, this on the clothes because it may, may stain them. I, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty solid haul. Goodwill is sometimes nice to me like this. Sometimes it's not. It's pretty hit or miss at my Goodwill. There is a, a Goodwill about a half an hour from here half an hour south of here that is pretty pretty good it's also like this i think the prices are a little lower for some reason but this one i can go to i can drive to in like two minutes so yeah even cherry picking i got 12 things 12 very high quality items 12 items that will sell either will sell fast or will sell for a lot of money yeah there we go thanks for watching